Axisaur here, and today we're going to play some more King Arthur the Role Playing War Game. When we left off, we got absolutely mushered by the was it Seelie who live in the forest? So uh, yeah, well the Unseelie I think. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do today is break the curse uh, from Sir Gareth's sword. And then I'm going to split off my two armies, uh, build a new one up under the Sir Gareth, and then King Mark is going to go down to um, one of these places to capture it, and then we're going to move on to London. Because uh, I'm not going to attack uh, this per this Veracu Ver Veracium or whatever, because it's under its uh, friend place. So anyway, so without any further ado, let's move towards the adventure. Um, who do I want to do it with? King Mark, also Gareth. King Mark is already level 7. Yeah, I think I'll do it with Sir Gareth. In the darkest reaches of the wood, you meet the congregation of the Druids. The leader listens to you politely. It won't be easy, he says. In the heart of the forest, there is a crystal tower. There's a woman in the city, a powerful insurance. Ah, oh, I failed already. There's a powerful. There's a woman of the city, a powerful enchantress. She could help you. Ah, uh, is there anything else I can do? You want the weapon to remain as powerful as ever. I don't know what accent this is, but without the harmful effects of the curse, so you have to find the swordsmith who can make you a silver duplicate that will absorb the evil lifted from the sword. Such a smith lives near the village. So happens that the smith doesn't live on the other side of the Britannia. Anything else I should do? The druid smiles. A good deed deserves a good deed. He tells you about a group of devoted monks who are building an abbey near the sacred grove of the druids. You have to persuade these people to leave. If you complete all these tasks, we will meet the ring. We will meet at the ring of stones. Uh, right. Builder of the abbey. Not far from the. They've already built for at least three years. Not far from the old wood on a hill, you see the skeleton of a tower covering in the scaffolding and a rough camp of builders, guarded by knights in white robes. Monk and craftsmen are gathered around the old priest. An old man must be their leader. I'll speak with their leader. You meet the old priest and two knights, both clad in white. You apologetically explain the situation. Disturbing the sacred grove of the druids will sow their seed of new conflict that could only result in war. Oh, is that my voice? You say, oh dear. Leave in peace now, and build your abbey somewhere else. Sounds a bit mean. I'll try and find out why they came here. Plan an ambush. Why did you come here? The local lord is a friend of the druids, and he dislikes your presence here. Oh, that's me. God damn it. The local lord is a friend of the druids, and he dislikes your presence here. Why did you come here? Refugees from this place came to our monastery and told us about the soldiers who went and sent them there. We came here to find a nest of these people and build a new home for them. Well, ambush, I guess. You let the old monk chatter away in time while you walk through the camp. You keep your eyes open and notice there's only a handful of armed vassals and a couple of white tabarded knights. Plan an ambush, there won't be much uh, resistance. Boop. The knights send out sentries, but they had no chance against a well-organized attack. The army suffered some losses too, but manages to capture the believers and the monks who were sleeping soundly in the tents behind the incomplete walls. Spare lives prisoners and send them home. Kill the prisoners of burn camp. Um, I assume that's evil. With threats and swords, the men escort the craftsmen and monks away. Sometime later, the elder droids walk in the woods. He doesn't look satisfied with the outcome of the events. Their fate will only turn more people against the old faith, and we don't need that. Damn it! I go to the village and try to find out Weaponsmith. Yes. Find a village on the edge of the forest, judging by the small church and stands abandoned in the empty yeah. Locals turn their backs on Christianity. When you ask about the famous swordsmith who creates the enchanted weapons, fish gladly show you the way. In that way! Can't you see his big manor? 2,000 gold. The smith knows everything about the forgotten methods of forging magical steel. But obviously they're not forgotten then! Whee! 
It will make you silver weapon. He asks for 2,000 gold or the same amount in food for the village. Or, if you're brave, you can bring in dragon bones from the woods. Uh, food? It's, I've got loads of food. When Mr. Nelson begins a word, she chants and clang of hammers, who makes you feel as though you're in a dream. What? Lose track of what? To the steady in Sanctus. When you are lost in the forest, the shadows seem deep in the crystal tower. The woman waiting for you is beautiful, but not human at all. Ha oh, Creature wouldn't tell her that you cursed sword. Defeat me in a duel, I'll help or leave some of your men to serve me. I am. Um, it's not a duel with swords, it's a duel with the mind. I'll fight a duel. Not an only duel. Oh wow. Defeated by magic. Well, I guess I have to do that. Hmm. Oh, I should probably read that. If you have finished your attacks, you can do rain swords. I have done everything! I've also lost some soldiers. Ooh. Mm. Oh well. Tell them to begin. Yay! Some said I'm. Is that it? Oh. Plus one old faith. Fire! Some food. I got the sword of pendragons. It's all good. Done. Awesome. So, yeah, I failed that one. But I've pretty much done that, so that's good. Got some chronicles, got some morality chart. We're going towards this area. Right, full old faith, we're really going there. Right, so, what we want to do next, if we go down here. On my way. Um, and we'll go to the nearest village, I think. Obviously, I can't do that now, so enter on. Got some random movement going on around the place. Ooh, King Althreld. One of the finest knights in Mercia. And Uther Pengar in town now he wants to prove that he is just a good warrior and used to be just in days. King of his duties, including personally bashing the threats and endangering people. After receiving a message from Rathuel, Ethred put on his armor and began to warn his advisors to send off to Pen Oh god. On my way. Looks like King Ethelred. <laughs> the unready, if I correctly know. There he is. Right, I'm gonna take this place. Wait, how big is Mercia? Wessex. Don't think it's that big. Right, let's divide the army. I'm gonna give you those. I'll also give you some yeomen. One unit of Welsh infantry. And no, one unit of heavy footmen. Wake up on winter. Right, and then we're going to spend time recruiting. We're going to get some footmen. And we're going to get... So we're going to get some archers as well. These cost so much. There we go. And here... Also going to do that. We're going to get some bowmen. Yeah, now I don't have enough for anything because bowmen cost the shit. These cost less. I should probably get spearmen. No. These cost. As well. 
Right, let me see, um, let me see his. I just want to see his sword. I know that. I wanted you to see him. I can't actually see what he's wearing. Um, what he's wearing, yeah. Hmm. That's exactly what I wanted to look at. Yes, my king. Oh, what's this? Province of Emation. Fair enough. Oh, we make a lot of shit, man. Right, uh, end turn. So I've got to wait two turns, I think, for everything to haphazardly happen. If King Athelred gets destroyed, I'll go from the north and I'll, I'll kill King Athelred with my two armies. Is it two turns I have to wait? One turn. Yes, my king. Three turns, jeez. I don't know what's happening with Sir Fred. <laughs> the King of Mercia has perished in the deep woods. It's been a while since King Athred, the ruler of Mercia, disappeared into the depths of the Benegrain forest. Now his vassals have found his corpse near the mysterious wood with a strange wound in his body, several grimace on his face. While the local law agree was work of an evil fairy, they called Sedi. Ethred's two sons didn't wait for an explanation. They started a war for the throne. Well, looks like we're going for Mercia, guys. <laughs> uh, we finish recruitment here. Look at the map of Britannia. Allied? Ah! This is bigger, that's why. Military strength. Oh my god, their military strength is huge. So is Wales. They have huge, they don't. Yep, I guess we're going to have to go for that. We got a lot of money. They still have quite a lot of men now. Ready to serve. I need more troops. <laughs> this this might this might be a bit mm, but I'm gonna need more troops. Uh, don't wanna waste on Breton cavalry. Breton cavalry are quite useful. I get some heavy footmen are really Expensive. These are really expensive. These aren't too expensive. All right, we'll get those. Yes, my leave. You got quite a large army, so you'll be fine. We'll just get more yes, men for leave. you then. Get even more archers. Um. We, yeah, we just got Cav, so... We could get some Breton archers instead. We could just get some yeomen. I have a lot of yeomen. But they're pretty good. Compared to footmen. Who aren't so good. Actually, it's worth getting these a lot, actually. Compared to getting those, because they cost, like... These have 5-5, five five, or these have 4-3 and much less stamina and these only cost a hundred more but they cost quite a bit of food actually cheese hmm yeah we'll get another human oh we can get another thing we'll get some more cav ha <laughs> Just wasted all my money. Well, I didn't waste it, I used it for something good. Turn 29. If 
if I hadn't lost that whole army, probably would be much further. Yes, my lord. On my way. I will do a two pronged attack. I'm gonna have to. Actually, can I go here? On my way. Yes, I can. They have quite two big armies. But it'll be fine. How long do I have yes, with this one? Four turns, jeez. Jesus. I still haven't, don't know what that sword is. That said, I can probably attack them now. Oh, no, that's alligators. Okay. That's my kid. We start war. What's this place? Minus twenty upkeep cost. That's not bad. and so be it. Ah, they didn't attack us. Perfect. On my way. A dainty army. Do I get reinforcements in this? I do not. Circle, Storm of Avalon, which is pathetic. I seem to have died. Um, 
Right, let's select everyone. But you, oh, you have a lot of archers, don't you? You guys can take that whilst everyone else. I'm gonna rush up that hill. guys can only come up from this area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There, so we're going to deploy here. Like this. Our horsemen can pretty much take care of every single bit of there. Apart from the pikemen they have, we can take care of all their archers pretty damn easily. What are those? Is there pikemen? No, they're just axemen. They have axemen as well. That's pretty good. There's pikemen though. Those will be quite handy. My computer, my game is running smoother than before. Oh, I got some giants as well. I can be forgot those giants. Oh, press space, but you would tilt wall. Oh, it's on fire at me. Actually, yeah, I have spells. Dragon Strike, Healing, Breath Stealer. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Right, let's select all of those men. Let's start a rampage!
My archers are absolutely decimating. Decimated them. As you're taking down their leader, will be good. Just gonna actually fire in the storm. So I'm just gonna move them forward. I'm also gonna move my tawny knights forward. Ooh, crystal shards has been used. And it's all over for the enemy. Pretty much. How much mana do I have? I had two mana left, but because I'm pretty awesome. I still got my three joints. Oh, I still lost over nearly 200 men though. Jeez. Anyway, see you on the battle map. Right, guys, it's a campaign map. I didn't say battle map, it's a lie. Uh, we got a lot of experience around everywhere. Um, apart from these guys, they died. Um, actually, we took a lot of casualties from our infantry. We need to get better infantry. But these all died, so that's all good. And we got a bit of gold from it. Um, recruit. What do you mean recruitment complete? Oh, that was. Oh, okay. Right. So we're going to send King Mark. Well, I can select him. That'd be nice. Send him to attack that. Oh wait, no, that was him. No, 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 no. Cancel. 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 cancel, cancel. We didn't use King Mark. We used King Mark for that battle. We're going to use Sir Gareth. Jeez. <laughs> right. Ooh, two heroes. That's good. Means less men. Still a lot of archers, though. But I've got a mass cavalry. They've got quite a bit of cav. Uh, we have, they have some pikemen as well. But we have everything we need to beat them. <laughs> oh. 
I think I'm going to use Enchanted Woods again. Um, that was a nice battle map. I could use Lowlands, I guess, but I don't know. This is a, this is a really good map to play on. I don't know if you want to play on Bright Peak because it's got mountains. That's sad. No, because they'll just get amazing. So we're going to play here, and uh, I shall see you on the battle map. Oh my god, I can't believe I just showed you this bit. You've pretty much seen this already. But it's a stone circle, which gives you Storm of Avalon, and that's a village, which gives you stamina, and uh, the other one's a sidey tower, yeah, it gives you Crystal Shard Spell. Uh, I knew that. I, I totally did not, like, just have a battle here, or anything. Um, yeah. I'm a I'm great at like that. So pretty much just doing do the same thing except instead of having one cab over there we're gonna have two. Whoop. So we're gonna put one, two, two cab here. Even though he's outside the uh the whole thing, but whatever. We're gonna do the same tactic we just did. And they're probably gonna do the same tactic they just did and lost. But we don't have giants this time, which isn't as good. But we have more archers, and they have less. <laughs> be nice if you could have reinforcements. Oh, they didn't. Oh yeah, they have one guy in the Saudi tower. Oh, actually, this one cav unit can go there. Since you know, I don't need both of them. Oh, actually, there we go. <laughs> I have a mass amount of infantry. <laughs> yeah, it's sending the cavalry over there. What's the unit that they brought over here? Oh, it was a two light cav. Oh, yay. Well, they're going to die. It's all the mass. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I just cast a spell and then they cast protection from magic. That's like such a good spell, protection from magic. Obviously. So we are going to select out archers. And we're going to start firing bullets like no tomorrow on these dudes. pause it so I can select all my proper men because this game makes it really hard. You can't exactly do control I, select all infantry. Which I just tried to do just in case. Who am I missing? I'm missing Welsh infantry and heavy footmen. And we are going to charge down the hill. Oh, mass wave. Where are you going? That's what I thought. Right. No, cavalry. Cavalry. Oh, I am using my camera. We're going to send you to attack these pikemen. Please don't say they're pikemen. No, like Cav! Right, we're going to attack you. Oh, so Gareth isn't going too well on the health. Jeez. 
Oh 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 oh. Oh oh two. Random like cav coming my way. Oh well, they got destroyed. <laughs> So Gareth is in So Gareth likes getting killed, doesn't he? It's weird. It's very weird. So Gareth get down. Damn. Oh wow, these are getting swarmed. And what we're going to put you back on fighting mode ranged. No, fight mode ranged. Fire. What are those? Like half. Do I get friendly fire from this? Probably. I expect I do. Fire. Casualties we can take. Once I've destroyed this, like, cav, which won't take too long, I shall take this from them. Actually, what I'm going to do is move my dudes this way so I can get some good downhill shots on them. These break shields are going down pretty damn easy. Oh, there we go, captured Sir Griffiths. Fight down on them. No, what? There you are. Take down a lot of them. There we go. Captured a lot of their guys. Taking them down, swathes at a time. Swathes at a time. You guys can still attack these, that'd be nice. There we go. Victory! I lost less men that time, but I lost Sir Gareth again. Don't know if it's good, the fact that he's always in the fight, or he's not. That's really kind of a weird thing. <gasps> Artifacts can raise the abilities above the normal maximum of 20. Abilities have a maximum of 20. Well, you learn something new every day, I guess. It's not really something new, it's something boring. Well, it's not, but I doubt it'll get that high. I mean, I can't even remember his name, but he died last time. It's okay, was it? I can't remember. Wasn't that important. Officer. Well, it looks like I've taken Mercia in one turn. Was it two? It was two turns. Captured the whole province in two turns. Takes even longer in total. Oh, Jesus. Destroyed a kingdom in two turns. <laughs> I guess we shall stop it there also, since we did that, actually, it's a good place to stop. And consolidate our power and move to London next time. We have taken... Oh, so Gareth is down as well, so we're going to have to wait until he gets back up. New province. Wounded hero, obviously, a new province. Right. So if we look at the round table, I think we have prisoners actually. Do you have prisoners? No. Don't have any ladies either. We've got more provinces than we have heroes. Oh. Okay, West Mercia is now part of him. Also, I'll give Dorset to, to Gareth. There we go. And when we get another hero. 
give it to some other dude. But f for now, that is all. Thank you for watching. Um, tomorrow some Rome to Realism. And next week, start the rotor again. Yay! But yeah, we did quite good this time. So um, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, stay tuned for more.